a recent poll asked people to assess the last nine presidents from Kennedy to uh, George W. Bush. Kennedy came out on top with 85%. During this recent uh, memory of his uh, assassination, the commemoration, 90% approval rating. The only one close to him was Ronald Reagan. And the question any historian has to ask is, why is this the case after all? He was there for only a thousand days. It was the seventh briefest presidency in American history. And the answer, I think, is that on the one hand, people don't much like his successors. Johnson with Vietnam, Nixon with Watergate, uh, uh, Ford's truncated presidency, Jimmy Carter's uh, presidency, which people see as essentially a failure. Uh, the only one is Reagan. The two Bushes don't register that powerfully. What about people. Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton, yes, but he had the Monica affair. The only president in the country's history, elected president, to have been impeached. See, it's sort of a, a black mark against his record. Kennedy, of course, dying so young at the age of 46, having only been there for a thousand days, it's a blank slate on which you can write anything.